So we're trying out the recently released BMW 2002. It's after the latest hotfix, which has uh, fixed a couple of things, including the windscreen wipers and the sound issue, and also a couple of tweaks for Monza itself. Uh, today is the Monza 1991 layout, which I think will suit these cars a little bit more, especially with the first double chicane and then the challenge of cold tyres leading down the long straights into the corner so extra challenges there so we'll jump straight in and we'll see how we get on against the AI which I think has improved somewhat over the last few updates there's still a bit of jinking left to right but the actual racing is a lot closer and cleaner And somewhat feels as if you're racing against people in the lobbies. A little, little knock. So, just because we can, we've got it set in autumn colours, early morning, get that lovely sunshine. this car feels very very planted but that doesn't say it doesn't move around which it does you can invoke a certain amount of understeer car like right. that and then when you get on the accelerator you, like you can right. get the back end to just come out nicely there's also that little bit of lift off oversteer right. as well midway through a corner which is nice Hold you don't line. feel a massive Still weight there. shift like you do in some cars Still there. so this would probably be a very good introduction to Automobilista 2 if Clear somebody's left. never driven it before Clear left. this car was released in the early 70s and it was a sporty version of their existing road TI model and it's got a 2 litre turbo engine and as I say 170 brake horsepower which got it to 60 miles an hour in 7 seconds which doesn't sound that fast but back in the early 70s was pretty quick especially as it's like a family two door on your left in fact my brother-in-law had one of these and it was tomato soup orange if my memory serves me right and i borrowed it for a couple of weeks for some reason it certainly weren't as quick as this version And we've got that wrong. Clear left. Car right. Clear right. And that was my own, my own fault. I right break side. myself. Hold your line. Clear right. Left side. Hold your line. All oh, being squeezed. Still there. We carry a bit more Still momentum. There. I've got the AI settings at 100 strength with 90 line. aggression and I have got damage switched on but for visual purposes only you so you can still carry on and enjoy your racing it's slowing to there and this car is really easy to catch on the slide once you've got the hang of it See if we can get some slips right. The steering's really quite 
heavy. Obviously, I don't think this car came with power steering. There weren't many cars of that era with power steering. Left side. Nice slipstream. Oh, little nudge. Car left, clear left. I definitely prefer this layout for the slower cars. That double chicane at the start is really nice. You've got some nice curb hopping you can do. Mose can be a little bit tricky in these cars. Understeering wide. And the second Lesmo is definitely quicker in this version. I'm not quite sure why it fell so quick. I don't think it's changed that much over the years. I might be wrong. We're catching back up to where we were. Got away with that one. A very Head forgiving car. It's now 20 Celsius. And the five speed box, I think, was an optional extra. And these cars were the salt. Nice tiny amount of drift through the parabolica. Period timing gantry. And these tyres will really cool down before you get to the braking zone. It's now 29 Celsius. Colour of the trees. It looks really, really nice. I muddled this car really well. Even having to stand on these old brakes. It's just a really well balanced car. You can slide it just the right amount and stay in control. So again, I found with AI, if you've got the setting a little bit low, they tend to be early on the brakes, but getting some good speed out of the corners. Let's see what they managed to do now. Let's see if we can get a good toe off this gold one in front or champagne coloured one in front. Slightly boxed in. Hold your line. And let him know Hold where we're line. going. I need to fix that little jinx in left right. and right that the AI. It's a little bit harsh the way they move. In jink left and right. Left 
Left side. Clear left. Not the inside. Two liters left. Far left. Still there. Side by Watch side, enough. nothing silly happened. Oh. <laughs> well done, mate, Just about hang on. On your right. Still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear right. Right side. Oh. Clear right. You have to really stand on the brakes. Drifting through the scar, right? Gonna be a really close finish. Car right. Hold your line. Hold your line, clear right. Okay, Matt, hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. One litre remaining. Nearly there. Try and get a double slipstream. Get close. On your left. Have we got enough speed? Oh, oh not There's quite. Wow, okay. <laughs> Clear left. Really balanced race On with the left. AI. Clear left. One car. Doesn't throw any mad surprises at you. And can race really nicely with the AI. Hold your line. All round. Really well done. What a fun left car side. to drive. Clear left. So until the next time, thanks for joining me. On your left. Clear left. On your left. Car left. Clear left. <laughs>